Hello, hello, it's Jo McFarlane here, candle maker based in Scotland. I've been making candles for the past 10 years and I'm here to support you on your candle making journey, whether you've never made a candle before or you're ready to take your candle making to the next level and start your own business. So um, my blog and chat today is about extinguishing a candle. I think it's so important and it's definitely something about candle making that is overlooked and I think it is super, super important. Um, now, in the past, perhaps, um, definitely in the, uh, my grandmother's days, she would actually just use her fingers. She would probably lick her fingers and then squish the, the wick um, together uh, with a loud hiss. Um, I don't really recommend that. Also, you see a lot of candle snuffers. And also when candles are sold with a lid, a lot of people use the lid to actually just extinguish uh, all the oxygen, which obviously uh, puts the wick out. Now, I don't recommend any of these reasons, um, any of these um, ideas, because if you're using a snuffer, whether it's just round the wick, like these little cone shapes, or it's the lid, what happens is you're gonna get smoke and the smoke either immerse back into the candle or if you take the lid off or the snuffer off, your room is going to be filled with smoke. And you've just spent the whole evening scenting your room or your home to then at the end of the evening have it filled with smoke. It's, it's not pleasant, is it? So my idea is that you actually dip the wick. So... Um, you can purchase these, they're almost like a long, thin golf club and it's tiny and you just, what you do is you actually just push the wick over into the warm wax and then hook it back up and there is no smoke. You're left with this beautiful warm wax that continues to fill your home with your um, the lovely scented aroma. So that is my method of extinguishing a candle. Um, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Let me know if you um, if you like to blow out your candles where you're left with this um, huge amount of smoke afterwards or if you um, use the lid of the candle as well. Um, if you want to read more, joemcfarland.com forward slash blog and you can also hop on and see the different uh, courses that are available. I can support you from a complete beginner all the way through to uh, a candle business. And I look forward to welcoming you. Happy making.